Stampers, Jackie Ball Hayes from Comp and Stampers. Are you ready to make a birthday project? You know, sometimes this time of year we get so wrapped up in holiday stamping that we forget people have birthdays year round. And I always hear people that have birthdays in December hate it because they feel like birthdays and Christmas just kind of get intertwined. So today we're talking birthdays. So it's a project you can use any time of the year, but it's also a gift packaging idea. Even though I'm showing you birthday, this is a perfect way to wrap up your Christmas gifts as well. Got lots of tips to share with you. We're gonna put a little glitz and glimmer on our card. And yeah, I don't know what else I wanna say. I wanna flip the camera down because I wanna get started. I'm using the stamp set Broadway Birthday. Now this is one I haven't used in a while. Um, it does come with coordinating dies, or I guess you can purchase coordinating dies. But today we're just gonna use the stamp set. This is a great set for any time of the year, Men, women, kids, um, great versatile birthday set. We all need to make lots of birthday cards. Now, like I said, I'm gonna actually make a card, but then I'm gonna show you how to turn that card into what I call a no peek bag gift topper. So let's start with the topper or the card. And I have, it was just a scrap of Whisper White and I cut it out using the stitch label die. So I did that ahead of time. And now what's really fun about this set is you have your solid images, but then it, you can't really tell from looking at this, but these polka dot ones stamp on top of it to make a really cute word. So we'll start with the wish, and I'm using Bermuda Bay here, but it was a little bit too dark for what I wanted, so I'm gonna stamp it on scrap paper first, and then I'm gonna come on to my stitch label here, and we'll stamp it about right there like so, and then we'll grab some black. Now this, gift I'm making here, a package I'm making, is for someone that just celebrated a big birthday. So I wanted to do something kind of fun and special. So we're going to use some black on here. Usually for birthdays, I tend to use all like bright, fun colors, but this time we got to bring in a little bit of black. So we have Wish, and then there's so many different parts and pieces to this stamp set, so you can put them together however you want. So we're going to go ahead and use the greeting you're never too old to make a wish. And then let's go ahead and put, let's celebrate you. Now I do have, um, over on my website, I've shared quite a few cards already. It, and it's been a while, a good year or so ago with this Broadway birthday, but I'll make sure in the blog post that goes along with this one, I have pictures and links to those other cards as well. So you'll get to see tons of ideas using the stamp set and how versatile and easy it is to use. So let's keep our black thing going. Now, the other thing that you will find over in that blog post is all the colors I used and the, the dimensions and all the cutting. So if you wanna make this um, card just like I'm making it, you'll be able to figure out everything I used. So Daffodil Delight for our candles on there. Now I did say we're gonna add a little bit of bling. So I have not used this in a while. It's called the Wink Estella brush. We always wanna shake it up really good before we use it. I'm not a glitter person and Really, the reason is because I hate the mess of glitter. But I like this because I can get a glitter look without having any mess. Um, you want to squeeze it a little bit. It says push there to kind of get it flowing. And I always double check. It's just like an aqua painter. And oh, now I picked up some of that Bermuda Bay there. And what I'm going to do is go on my candles here and just put a little shimmer up there on them. So you can just paint that right over there. And I don't know. Can you see that? Um, I don't know if the if you're picking up the shine or not, but it just adds a little sparkle onto those candles. And then the other thing I wanted to add on here, because this card is for a woman, and we want a little bit of bling. So I have some rhinestones here. And did you know that you can use your Stampin' Blends, which we've used these a lot for coloring, but you can also color embellishments. So what I'm doing is just, let's see, why don't we do five of them? I've got the black and I'm coloring right on top of there. And so now I have little black rhinestones. So we'll go ahead. I like to take my little piercing tool here. Oh. Well, I guess that one's going right there. That made it easy to pick up underneath there. And we're just gonna scatter these here. Um, get some, our little bling bling going. So let's see, 
my fingers aren't working so good. It is really cold down in my stamp room. Um, my stamp room is actually my basement. And once the weather gets cold, I am freezing down here all the time. There you go. So there's our little boing on that. And now the rest of this card is gonna be really simple to put together. So we're gonna start with just a piece of basic black, eight and a half by five and a half. And again, remember, you don't need to remember these measurements. They'll be all over on the website for you. And then I've taken a piece of five and three, five by three and three quarters, and I've embossed it with an embossing folder already. This is the Tufted, I believe it's called. Um, and then I have a piece of the Bermuda Bay that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths, I believe. And again, check those measurements over there. That's I never, sometimes I forget them as I'm making them. But we're gonna go ahead and adhere that down on there good. And then we can take our, our black and we will put it right on there like so. So that is the front of our card. And then I just have a piece of the designer series paper, the Bermuda Bay. And let's see, do we want, yeah, I like, I was gonna say we could go either way, but I kind of like the gingham on this one. So let's do that. And I think I have this cut about an inch by five and a half. So it goes all the way across my card like so. And we can go ahead and grab some dimensionals. You know, that's always a must. So what I'm making, this absolutely could just be a card. You could stop when I'm done here, probably add something in the inside. You're gonna need some white cardstock in there to write on or a greeting. But like I said, I'm gonna turn this into the topper for some gift packaging. So there we go. Like I said, that could be our card. Do the inside if you want. And then let's just set this aside and we're gonna bring in our gift bag. So I have just a handled gift bag. You can buy these from any dollar store, any craft stores. Um, I'm not even sure the size of this one. Um, it's gotta be almost five and a half inches wide there. So, but what I'm gonna do, I have just a cute little mug here. Oh, now you know what birthday we're celebrating. And I put in one of the packages for the uh, cake, cake in a mug, I guess they call them. Stuck that in there. And then a package of 60 candles. So that's my little gift to her. So we're gonna just put this down here. And I am one, you know, when you get a gift or, or even, you know, you go to a nice store and you purchase something and they'll put tissue paper in here and make it look so beautiful. I totally stink at that. My tissue paper just looks like it's wadded up down there. So that's why I created many, many years ago, I came up with this idea and I called it a no peak bag topper. So all I'm gonna do is hold this on here so I know about where those, those handles are. And let's see, kind of doing this at a weird angle here so that you can see. And I'm gonna take my snips. Oops, we don't wanna cut the bag. And we're gonna come out just a little bit, just a little snip there. And this black is super hard to see on. A little snip there. And then I'm gonna take the scissors here and I am going to cut off just that fold. Okay, we don't wanna to take too much off, just enough to essentially make a hole right there in the center of our, our card. And then, and again, my camera's kind of low here. All you need to do is slide that over the top, like so, and there is your gift bag. Can you see that okay on film? I'll hold it this way. So now, that's why we call it no peek gift topper. We can hit, you can't peek from the bag. It makes it super adorable. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll tie a bow on here. And again, I feel bad you can't, you can't see this very well. We'll grab, grab this. Um, the polka dot tool ribbon really is my favorite ribbon and it's because it's about the only ribbon that I can tie a bow because it is so nice and thin and ties so nice. And again, it's probably kind of hard to see some of this. So make sure you hop on over to the website because there'll be a picture of it so you can get a better look. But there is my no peak bag topper. Um, now I can just hand this as a gift like so. 
doubles as a card. So if you don't need the gift bag, make the card. So I hope you like that idea. Make sure again, you hop on over to the website. I'll list all the products here for you. So if you'd like to order anything, I'll also show you quite a few more cards that I've made with the stamp set. Some super simple, some bringing in the dies. So great versatile birthday um, card set. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, as always, let me know if you'd like to place an order. I love it when you select me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. That's what helps me bring videos to you guys three times a week. So hope you enjoy the project and I'll be stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.